Hey everybody, welcome back to The Garage, and man, I am super excited to talk today with Elite Tune School. i got Mike and Brandon on the line. We've got a couple quick things that we want to discuss with you guys that you're going to be even more excited than I am about, and that is our upcoming partnership and how we're going to work together to create some awesome content to help you guys learn tuning and also bring you into the ETS uh holistic approach towards tuning where you can get better glimpses of what they're doing over there and some of the uh the offerings that they've got going on but let's start off here with uh mike go ahead and give us a quick rundown of, of uh who you are your background all that fun stuff so i've been in the uh in the tuning game probably since around uh 2000 1999 2000 worked for uh, a little company called general motors motorsports group if anybody is that old on this uh, podcast. So we built uh, special high performance Camaros and uh, Trans Ams back then, including the ZL1 of the day. Um, built around 600 cars for them. Then uh, founded a little company that's still around today called Vengeance Racing. And, and um, ended up... <laughs> I, want, I want to do a full deep dive on that in a later video and talk to you more yeah. about Vengeance Racing because I guarantee you everybody that's watching this has heard of Vengeance <laughs> Race, especially given how many Corvette guys we have. Sorry, go ahead. So I, so I uh, started that in 2005, uh, actually the summer, kind of like a summer gig between GMMG. Um, I ran that until around 2011, um, right? ended up kind of stepping away from the that kind of build cars. I'd been building cars at that point for 10 or 11 years, and I wanted to just focus on tuning. So then I opened up a company called Vengeance PCM, where I just did tuning. I did that for around a decade. Um, and I just did in-house tuning, remote tuning, on-site tuning, you know, from everything from a, an airboat to, you know, some, you know, 1500 horsepower cars. Um, and that's, you know, I ended up meeting Brandon there and then we were both kind of burned out of tuning at the time. And, uh, we were just kind of standing around one day and he said, he said, man, let's do a school. And we had talked about it briefly, but this day kind of just triggered me. And I was like, today's the day let's open the school. And I went inside, you know, I called my web guy. I said, let's pick a name and let's build a school and. You know, we we went to it and we, uh, you know, we we kind of grew it into what it is today. And it's it's definitely has leaps and bounds from where we thought it was going to be. So excellent. And, and speaking of Brandon, Brandon, you're over here in the background. Let's let's go ahead and get you in here. Nick. Well, first of all, thanks for thanks for having us, man. It's uh, it's a pleasure to be on here. But uh, my journey started uh, about a decade ago and uh Actually, much like a lot of your audience, I just started basically tinkering uh, on my own stuff in my spare time and uh, made a lot of mistakes, um, learned kind of the school of hard knocks, got that certificate many times uh, <laughs> on what not to do before I started to figure out what to do. And, um, it, you know, a lot of it was just stemmed from being disappointed with local tuners uh, that I had utilized to tune my own cars. So that kind of spiraled out of control. I started getting pretty good with my own stuff. And you know how that snowballs out of out of control, which is, you know, your buddies start coming to you, you know, hey, will you tune my car? And, you know, next thing you know, I'm, I, I've got half of a business going on here because I sold real estate at the time. That wasn't my full time gig. And then I kind of became, you know, I had a fork code where I had to pick and choose between do I continue to sell real estate, which was probably the smart thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> or try to make a living tuning cars. And I went the path of tuning cars. And uh, I don't know, four years ago, I, I, I'm losing track of time these days, but uh, four years ago, uh, we had this notion that we were going to move up to the Atlanta, Georgia area. And on a whim, I had applied at Vengeance Racing. And uh, which is obviously where I met Mike. I had started selling parts there and kind of gave up the tuning side of things for, you know, to work at Vengeance. I, I, I kind of, I, I think I hold the record for how many jobs I had inside <laughs> of Vengeance at the time, which was parts and then sales and then sales manager, and then eventually tuning uh, for Vengeance. And that's how I met Mike. Mike was kind of phasing out of tuning. I was phasing into it. And uh, 
you know, he ended up staying a lot longer. So we, we ended up sharing an office together. And uh, like he said, one day we were just kind of burnt out on this stuff. And we said, uh, man, let's uncork this whole thing. Let's, you know, let's spill the beans on, on everything and, you know, share what we know. Basically, let's put USB drives in our head and give it to the world. And, and you know, uh, as a lot of the people that are, watch, are watching this going, no, we talked at PRI. We talked a few times after this, and and I am just 100% behind the idea of your guys' approach, the information that you're putting forward, and, and the way that you've kind of approached uh teaching people how to tune as opposed to the way it's been done in the past there's plenty of books out there that aren't worth a damn uh there's plenty of videos uh besides mine of course that aren't worth a damn um but even you know there's not really there is some people are doing classes but they're fewer and far between and the people that are doing classes are doing it in a way that is not very specific you guys have really approached the topic in a specific way where you're looking at specific platforms, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, uh, Coyote, uh, you know, Dodge, stuff like that. You're breaking it up. So they're not learning a whole bunch of things. They're learning a lot more laser-focused guided things, and that's kind of what makes me excited uh, to get to work with you guys because that's the way I started teaching people back in the day. It was the idea of, of, uh, it's like I said, eat an elephant. You got to take it one bite at a time and you have to also understand what you're doing. It's not enough just to tell people do this. If you're not explaining to them why you do this, they don't understand it and they're not going to retain the information. So give me a quick rundown, Mike, of the classes that you've got available and what you've got coming out uh, in the near future. So obviously we have, you know, Gen 3, 4, and 5, as you said. We've got, you know, Ford EcoBoost. We've got, uh, that's just dropped, uh, Ford F-150, S-550, um, six- and eight-speed transmissions for both GM and Ford. Um, we're moving into the Dodge. We've got a GM master class for Gen 5 guys. If anybody really wants to kind of pick at our brains and learn everything that we know about Gen 5, we're doing a Gen 5 master class. That's in two weeks. And we're only going to do that once, maybe twice a year. And that's here in St. Petersburg, or you can attend live. Um, that's going to be kind of a unique class. And our approach is to, to tuning. And we did this with our college content, which we haven't talked about, but we teach college courses also on this. But it's the, it's the follow-up with the online content. So when you come take one of our live courses, sure, we're there. We go through all of our concepts and how we tune things. But, you know, we always follow up with every live class with either three or even six weeks of remote virtual content, you know, content that we use. And then we do a Q&A every week. So you might come to a two day live class, but you're getting a month worth of training with us, which is a, a complete different approach. And we kind of tailored that off of our college courses because that really works in the college setting. And uh, we're like, we should incorporate that to the general public classes. And that's kind of where we got that idea. But um, we've got a, a new advanced GM diagnostic class, which we've been asked to do for a while now. And uh, that's going to be out tomorrow. And we've got a, a few other kind of basic classes. Today, whenever this video drops, just just a uh, heads up, it's out now. Uh, yeah, it's Sorry. out now. Uh it, it'll be out by the time this gets released, obviously. But uh, we've got a couple other. Uh, Brandon does most of the recording. I do some, but Brandon speaks a little slower than I do, and uh, <laughs> I'm I'm very good at the editing side of things. But uh, you know, we're doing some recording. We've got some definitely a lot of things coming down the pipe um, that that we're gonna we want to share with your audience and just kind of show them uh, kind of how we do things, and and hopefully they're gonna get some some good value out of it. Yeah, and I'm excited about it because I'm going to be able to branch out onto some platforms that we've not talked before in the past. I'm going to give uh, you guys, the viewers of Goat Rope Garage out there, bite-sized snippets of some of these courses on specific topics. Uh, and so, you know, by all means, if you have specific things that you want to learn about or specific topics that you want to get 
want us to get a little bit more in depth in hit up the comments and that goes for any videos coming out from now until forever because this isn't going to be a one and done kind of uh situation we're looking for stuff and that's going to be both brandon and mike and go rope garage and we're going to have these communications up these are the things that we're, are showing up that are the big question drivers are even from as as uh mike says whenever they're doing these q a's and stuff like that there might be a topic that keeps on getting brought up on those that they can bring to me that i can throw something together to kind of help people out that might have not attended the class but they're running into the same issues and searching that stuff on the google box and all that fun stuff and we're just trying to create a bunch of tuning information that's digestible and easy to understand so that you guys can become the best tuners out there okay brandon before we jump off here do you have anything uh last words that you want to drop in here so just to just to touch on what mike was explaining and expanding on earlier you know, and one of the main reasons we've gone with our approach of, of six weeks instead of your traditional, you know, two day stuff that you're you're likely going to find in a lot of these schooling programs is, man, it's like drinking from a from a fire hydrant. You know, there's a lot involved in tuning and we obviously try to make it as simplistic as possible and break it down uh, in a very easy to understand formula. But that also takes time to deliver that message you know, showing up and, and getting 30 years of knowledge in two days is virtually impossible. Right. So, you know, doing these longer type courses, we found guys were, were becoming successful in retaining the information and not being set up for failure. Like I, I feel a lot of these courses kind of set you up to do. Mike, you got anything else for the, for the class before we jump off here? Uh, Nothing in particular. I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of, you know, sharing some of our content with your audience. Um, you know, and I, I think that's a great idea, like you said, is let's, you know, let's get some comments going and let's see what these guys really want to learn. Where are the hangups? And we can even produce content. I mean, we're recording two, three days a week, so it's not a big deal for us. But if you guys want to learn something, you know, put it in the comments. We'll build a video on it and, and Goat Rope can show it to you guys. And hey, listen, guys, on top of it, uh, ETS has been super awesome. They provided a, a coupon code for the Goat Rope group. It's, it's literally just Goat Rope, all one word. It's going to get you a flat 5% off. So the cool thing about that is the more expensive the class, the more you're going to save on it. So don't forget that. It'll be in all the descriptions as usual. You guys find links down there. There will be links posted all over this video. You guys know the drill. Thanks for stopping by the Garage. Remember, ABT, always be tuning.